Hey everybody, I have a special project for you today. It's these two hiking sticks. These particular one I've hiked over 110 miles with. In the Upper Peninsula in Michigan on the North Country Trail. And I'm going to show you why these are better than most hiking sticks you see here on YouTube. This one, as you can see, has got a nice handle wrap that's really good if you have larger hands so you can get a more comfortable grip. Now, the real key to these sticks is right here on the bottom. This is a screw. I just took a screwdriver, you can see it right here behind me, screwed it down in, except I cut the top off of it once it was in with a hacksaw. And that just leaves a nice stud at the bottom. Now, real trekking poles don't have quite a long spike, but they taper down at the end with plastic so that there's only a small surface at the bottom and you can get more tilt. But if you only had a tiny little spike at the bottom of this, it wouldn't really help you because then you'd end up, once you tilted the stick, the spike would no longer be taking the ground, you'd just slip. And the whole point of this is that you don't slip on those steep hills and inclines. But that is really the key that I have here to making these sticks much better than most of the sticks you see on YouTube. You see a lot of people, they have put in fancy designs and handle wraps, but the bottom is still just wood, and that's, you might as well have a normal stick. I don't, it's not as important as how fancy the stick is, it's just gotta carry you along. Now, to attach the screw to the bottom, here's the other stick. This one's a bit more rusty because it has been on here a lot longer. And this is a new bottle cap after that hike. To attach these bottle caps, I took some of this Tight Bond 3. It is a very high, strong wood glue. Slathered some of that on. I don't know if it works very well since it's on the metal, but I didn't want these to come off. Then, here, I took some of these really small nails, like this. They're really small. And I ta hammered them through to keep the bottle cap on, because the screw doesn't have a head, so it can't keep it on. The bigger the head for the nail, the better, because it gets more surface to hold down the bottle cap. It can go with smaller heads, but like I said, that'll the bottle cap will tear off eventually. This is just an example of a screw that might work. You might go a little longer, but I think that has enough thread. It just needs a little more neck so that you can get more spike on it. Lastly, but certainly not least, we have the bottle caps. Okay, maybe they're least. And it doesn't really matter what kind of bottle cap you have. It helps if it has kind of like a centering design, like this one, so you can kind of see the middle of it. But if you take a look at this stick here, the middle of the bottle cap isn't really what I went for because the it's got like a protrusion on the side. And to make it fit all the way around, I kind of had to go off center. So if you guys were watching carefully, you may have noticed something different about this stick. Not only does it have this cool handle wrap and these nice knots at the end that took me embarrassingly long to figure out, but here, not the end, but part way down, it's got like a bunch of screws in it and some like wood glue. That's cause on a different backpacking trip, I put too much weight on it and it broke. That was really disappointing. I carried it the next like three days in my pack, which might not have been the brightest idea. But when I got home, I took some screws similar to this one, but obviously much shorter so they didn't go all the way through. And this one has some irregular splinters, so some of them go further down, just screwed through that into the other part. But not only screwing, the key to this, again, is the Tight Bond 3. So I lathered up the connection. I don't think I actually put enough on it because it needs to squeeze out the sides more. I screwed these in, put some tight bond 3 in the hole and on the screw so those could go in and get a nice grip and then glue to the wood. And I haven't had any problems with it since. The stick has remained nice and strong. That might actually be a strong point. It'd probably break somewhere else with all that wood glue in there I've done. That's pretty much it for these sticks. So if you liked this video, then hit a like. 
and consider subscribing because I have new videos coming out just about every week. See you next time.